I was just reminded, PayPal, so we can stay on the air. Jeffrey Turner is a lawyer. He is an active conservative, and he joins me right now because I want to put the question to him. Do Canadians see and receive justice? Because I talk to groups of Canadians, and everybody's an expert on justice. And so many of them say, you know what? Things are just going wrong, what we hear and read about in the judicial system. Well, we, we do have an excellent justice system, Stephen. It, our, it's founded on institutions that go back centuries. And, right. and so the, so the, old the institution stuff is good. of justice is wonderful. The problem we're facing right now in Canada is a backlog in appointing judges. And that is leading to a crisis in our justice system because it is leading to delays in people getting their day in court, and that is a big problem. And we've right done now. a show on that because, uh, as you and I both know, if you don't get your day in court within three years of being charged, the charges are thrown out, and sometimes there's horrendous crimes that go unanswered. And, and that is happening now to a greater extent. The Supreme Court of Canada Chief Justice Richard Wagner just wrote a letter back in May to the Prime Minister saying, look, there are over 80 vacancies in, in all of the federal court appointments. Right. There's this big backlog. And so that means that there aren't enough judges to deal with the volume of cases that are being faced by them. And do we have enough people under the judges, you know, the crown attorneys and all the, all the people that deal with the justice system? Do we have enough resources in there? Well, I think that we do. That doesn't appear to be the problem, the bottleneck is oh, getting cases at the judicial level, having enough judges. So the bottleneck then is the Minister it's of Justice the appointments. And, and, the, and the Prime Minister. That, that's and, right. Uh, and they go through cabinet, I know that. Do you think that's why we have made now a new Minister of Justice? Did he get canned <laughs> for that reason alone? Well, it is true that the former Minister of Justice has been heavily criticized for the delay, for the dithering in the judicial appointments. Of course, we don't know what the reason is why he's not in cabinet, but that was one of the deficiencies in, in the department that he was in charge of. So if you're the Attorney General, you, if you run for the Conservatives next time, Conservatives win, you have to be Attorney General. What do you do? Well, I think you'd want to prioritize the appointment process and get, get the applicants through the process, get the judicial advisory committees functioning again, because there are about five or six of them that haven't been functioning to vet the applicants as they're coming through. Why haven't they not been functioning? That's not the attorney don't general. We don't know what the reason is. And is so it it's, it's is perplexing. It, is, it, is it generally what goes on in Ottawa? The ministers don't know what's going on. And when ministers don't know, all the machinery underneath them just grinds it, it, it could be. It's inexplicable. There's yet another gatekeeping issue. It's that all, uh, ap all appointments suggested or recommended by the Minister of Justice have to be approved by people in the Prime Minister's office. There's a partisan vetting to it. So maybe the delay has been there. Who knows? That PMO. Jeffrey Turner, thank you very much. Three minutes. Justice. I know that many of you viewers are experiencing tough times with those pointless Trudeau taxes. You're watching every dollar. So are we. We run a very lean operation, which is why I'm asking this question of you now. If you know of any companies who want to advertise on this station, good people watch it, as you know, from coast to coast to coast. Please let us know. And in the meantime, please subscribe and PayPal. <laughs>